there are two concepts that are always in the background of my mind. Pay attention to detail and stay humble or be humble. Here we are doing routine basic cataract surgery. The case is going great. It's routine. We start to remove the lens cortex with our silicone tip irrigation and aspiration instrument made by Alcon. This tip is very capsule friendly. We've used it on all of our cataract surgery cases for the past five years. Because the tip is made of silicone and not metal, it is soft and pliable and can be used to directly aspirate the lens capsule without breaking it. It's a great instrument. Once the equatorial cortex is removed, we direct our attention to the posterior subcapsular cataract plaque that is adherent to the posterior lens capsule. We could polish the plaque with the posterior surface of the silicone tip IA, or we could gently directly aspirate the plaque with the aspiration port of the IA. We choose to directly aspirate it and do it with ease. Good. We're home free. Then we attempt to aspirate cells from the posterior surface of the anterior capsule and can see the aspiration port facing upward. Then suddenly, we see stellate folds in the posterior capsule. Let's take a look at this again in slow motion. Though our aspiration port is facing upward, the posterior capsule is being aspirated. If we don't identify this sign, then the posterior capsule can easily be gripped and ripped. But we always pay attention to detail. So we stop and instill some Ocucote to try to visco dissect the posterior capsule from the back surface of the IA tip. Ocucote does not achieve the desired result. Then we instill Helon GV, a heavier molecular weight viscoelastic, which successfully liberates the incarcerated posterior capsule from the backside of the silicone tip IA. How does this happen? When we rotate the IA tip to inspect the posterior surface that is on the opposite side as the aspiration port, we see a crack in the silicone tip and the metallic internal core. Because we are aware of the design of this silicone tip, we are always anticipating the possibility of this complication occurring. Because we identified the problem immediately, the patient had a normal, routine, uncomplicated result. We use the same tip to remove the viscoelastic after we implant this LI61AO monofocal lens. We just make sure that we do not place the exposed crack of the silicone tip IA in apposition with the posterior capsule. This is not the first time that I've seen this scenario unfold. I have been humbled in the past because we pay attention to detail for each millisecond during surgery and remain humble. We are able to deliver the best, safest care for patients that entrust us to perform their eye surgery. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.